today is Saturday. Today is the day that I've been dreaming about, the day that I've been wishing for. Who ever thought that me, Laura, would be wanting to buy a horse? Like, who ever thought that I would be buying a horse? How can this even be my life? But yeah, I'm driving a horse today. Welcome to today and welcome to this journey. Welcome to the girls that are gonna help me in this journey. Welcome to the girls that are still half asleep. It is 7.40, we were supposed to leave 10 minutes ago, but we didn't even wake up until 7 a.m. We didn't wake up till 7 a.m. Why didn't we wake up till 7 a.m.? Because nobody set their alarm. Why did nobody set their alarm? Nobody wanted to wake up, that's for sure. Sam, why didn't you set your alarm? You didn't want to wake up either. I can't set an alarm because my phone goes off 100 miles an hour, all 24 hours a day. People phone me, people Snapchat me, people, like it is ringing and buzzing and beeping 24 seven. Like I, if I turn it down, all it does is go to vibrate. So then it's vibrating. When it's quiet in the night, I can still hear the vibrating, so I can't turn mine on. Um, Sam's phone is quiet as heck, and so he's the one that sets the alarm usually, and he didn't set one. And it's so dark in the morning now, nobody wants to wake up before 8 a.m. But anyway, welcome to today. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Let's do this thing. First pit stop. We, we have all to have to pee so bad. Again, we're in Market. No, this is Market Drive. Where are we? What city are we in? <laughs> so Gabby has a two pack, and she's really excited about it. We're in Milton. Wow, I love Milton. A long time ago, when Sam and I first got together, when Nick was two, we went to Milton and we went to a Renaissance Festival together. I've never been before. It was so good. It was amazing. Um, I thought it was much farther too. So it is. 10.22 a.m. Sam is going to Starbucks? Starbucks? No, fil Filthy Phillies. Filthy Phillies, cheeseburgers, and poutine. Turn around to get to the highway. We got all excited there for a second. Gabby wants to tell us how she got a two-pack. She's so proud of it. How'd you get your two-pack? I rode Finn twice. Yeah. Like, riding Finn it works your abs. Like, really bad works your abs. Anyways, Gabby's been trying to work on her her abs, and she does actually have a two-pack. She'll show you one day, probably in the summer. But anyways, yeah. Anyways, um, so I have used my drive wisely. I oiled all my stuff. I have Stella's bumper thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's your halter. I don't know why you wanted to use ours. Yeah, I wanted to use the girls because I couldn't find mine. This is mine, and the problem is, is it's broken. It's literally in a bucket because we don't. It's use broken, it. and I don't want to like. Only the helmet. And then the I helmet. don't want to go someplace and then be like, oh, you're too poor to own my animal because she did call her vet. She made sure like that we paid our bills and that we called the vet she for our horses. Called sometimes. her vet. She called her vet, which I think is responsible. But still, this crazy thing happened. We all had to pee so 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 bad. So we were racing to our first pit stop and Sam got gas, and Sophie told me that he disappeared into the trailer. And I'm like, well, why would he disappear into the trailer? Did you go inside the trailer? Yeah. And then but she's like- he also went to the bathroom. Yeah, I know. Then he she's like- heard us. And she's like, I bet you he's peeing in there. And I was like, there's no way in heck that he would pee in the trailer after I spent so long yesterday afternoon cleaning out the trailer because we can't take a pee trailer to pick up a horse. Did you pee in the trailer, Sam? Oh, in the yeah, so then after, I was like, he peed clean trailer and then after when we came out of the bathroom when we came out of the bathroom he came out of the bathroom so I know he went to the bathroom what were you doing in the trailer though that's what everybody wants to know I was just making sure that everything was all right all the things were up and everything inside the trailer yeah was everything good no, I don't. I don't know what that means, but I know he I went to the bathroom, so. These things, these bars, they were down. Oh, nobody better be peeing in my trailer, that's for sure. Guys, I can spot a bathroom from anywhere. Yeah, so he knows a bathroom. There's she, like a little sign, and I can see it. Yeah, she she will find you a bathroom. If you're ever in need, and you're with Sophie, she will find it. Two and a half hours, you guys. Two and a half hours till I meet the girl that could be mine.
Okay, so we hit the smorgasbord of food and Gabby. Did you get Starbucks? Gabby did not bring any money. We should go to the bathroom then before we order. Sure. Alright, so we're gonna so I'm gonna get what are you getting? A sub. Sub or Burger Burger King or Tim Hortons. What are you getting? Uh chicken nuggets. What are you getting? A sub? I'm gonna get a sub. I'm I'm getting the exact same thing as you, just no olives and no onions. Okay. All right, so we are in the bathroom. If you guys didn't catch it, we are here for lunch now. We can't get to our destination until one, so we're trying to kind of waste a little bit of time. Everybody's going to the bathroom, and we're gonna get our lunch. I mean, you can't eat here, you have to eat outside, so we're gonna do that. That was kind of painful, getting lunch. So we were the first ones there before it opened, thank goodness. Sam is still standing in line. He goes to the back of the line somehow. Anyway. Because you were already halfway across the thing ordering, so you couldn't cut in. Where we live is not a culturally diverse area, but where we are right now is so culturally diverse, it's like a whole different world to us. Like, we are so used to what it's like where we live, and here it's so different. Like, it's good for my kids to get out and be in a bigger world. I wish we lived in an area that was more culturally diverse so that my kids could learn so much more. <laughs> Look at our car! There's like all the big huge trucks in our truck. <laughs> well, we can only do that because we have a trailer. Yeah. There we are, you guys. Day by day vlogs is coming to town. Uh, What'd you get? Chicken nugget meal. Chicken nugget meal. Sophie With got buffalo chips. Buffalo sauce because the fries taste Laura, so good. Laura, go. I dipped in buffalo sauce and the chicken nuggets. Oh, I got root beer. Gabby loves her some buffalo sauce, apparently. Wow. I got water. I got root beer. Have you ever gone someplace on a Saturday and been like, hmm, I wonder if the guy serving me was out partying late last night because chances are the guy that was serving us, he was not all together there today. He Maybe you cut my thing properly. Yeah, he seemed like he was really struggling. It makes me realize that I'm so glad that those partying days are out of my system. Although to be honest, I've never been a big partier. And sometimes I feel like the world makes you believe that to be successful and to be popular, you have to be a big partier, but you don't, you guys, be yourself. If you like to stay home on a Friday night and watch movies with your family, then do that, because that's or who you are inside. Friends. Or hang out with your friends, yeah. You guys do what you want to do. That's what the world is all about. All right, we are 44 minutes away from meeting my horse, my possible horse. And I'm reading through the comments and I'm realizing that I forgot to update you guys on what happened with the chiropractor. You guys saw that Storm was lame, Gina was lame. They both kind of had a back end thing happening. And even Finn had issues. So this is what happened at the chiropractor. All of our horses had issues that they haven't had before. Some of you guys noticed in the summer that Storm had some spots on his saddle at the last show. It just These just popped up. Chino has some too. And Finn was having trouble with his wither and his shoulders as well as neck. That's probably his why withers. Was faster he was to yeah, so anyways, we worked through the whole process with the chiropractor trying to figure out what the problem could be. And what we came up with is that um we all we recently added half pads to all of our horses that we have never that we hadn't been riding them in once we got the custom saddles and we added them because people were telling us that it was just necessary even though in the past i thought that if it's a fit saddle fit you should only use a, a half pad if it to correct fit but anyways we um, we changed and we added the half pad and she said that almost 100% the issues that they're having right now is based, like half some of the issues that they're having right now is based on adding the half pad and changing the fit of the saddle. So she had told us to go back without it. So now Chino has always been ridden with a half pad and now suddenly he's got some pressure marks from the saddle and what she thinks is happening is that when we first got Chino, he was really skinny, small, no muscle, and the half pad was necessary, but now he's built up and he's got muscles and power everywhere, and so she thinks that the fit of the saddle has changed due to his bulking up, and he doesn't probably need to in our vlogs, and I sometimes forget to update, but I want you guys to know what happened with the chiropractor. It was an eventful appointment. All of them had issues that they have never had before, so um, anyway, we're gonna address them, try to fix them, and see what happens.
You got it, Sophie thought she was going to be fat, but she's not fat. She's a perfect weight, right? She's pretty, but I'm she nervous. She's a longer head. So, she, so, she's, so she's a grouchier horse. She's an independent, likes to do her own thing kind of horse. That's Storm. No, I don't know. I don't know, like, can you make a horse be more loving and more sweet and more affectionate? I don't think so. I think that's their mannerisms. Her, her eyes are a bit gooey. Other than the fact that she's kind of a grouchy girl, she seems great. Okay, so she walks really fast, but it's not that you see that's what people who don't ride gated horses don't understand is that even when they walk fast, you just sit and you don't move. Like your body doesn't move fast. Especially when we're cantering, like that's just so smooth when she canters, like you don't move a lot. That's what I like. And you can take her up again if you want, and get her even into a canter if you want. She's like, do I have to? Just whatever you're feeling comfortable with, honey. <laughs>
ride her here even like do you know what I mean like I, I'll have more help and stuff at home but I, I don't want to buy a horse that I'm afraid of right off the bat I want to like oh no absolutely do it as much as you want this is the hardest place to ride her yeah like yeah. this is the very hardest place to ride her so if you're happy here that's great but no as I say just take the time you need just keep going so that time I started to get the feeling I got I get when the past was you know, she started to go and it felt amazing and yeah. I knew I felt comfortable like all right yeah Stay here forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Okay, go for a ride. Okay, watch out. Could be a canter. Look, look. To the dog. No, I was telling her. I told her to go. Yeah, but the dog seems Like, that was incredible. Like, okay, definitely the smoothest canter I've ever done in my life. Looked like a slow canter. I love a slow canter. It was Farm's dead canter. Was it? Oh yeah. my gosh. So, so when you're when thing. you're bouncing, that's the canter part. Yeah, I yeah. figured. So the other thing that I wasn't sure if like the fast running walk felt like a canter. So the other thing I tried, I tried turning my body instead of doing anything else to get her to train direction, to get her to steer. Bingo. I feel I feel like I can ride her. I feel like I did some canter and it just felt amazing. It, I feel like I'm riding a Pasofino. The only thing I had trouble with was the steering. I think the things that I have trouble with are things that I'm just going to have to work on and because I don't speak her language yet. She doesn't speak my language. She's used to her rider and that's what they get used to. She's just standing here, not even trying to eat the grass. She's looking for her owner. I don't know. I, 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 I like her. I don't know. Sophie, what do you think? I want her. Yeah, Sophie, you're gonna love riding her. You're gonna be nervous I at that first. I got a mare too, though. Did you? Yeah. What do you think, Sam? So she's letting Gabby. She's letting Gabby ride with us. Like Gabby's gonna go ride this adorable, cute little thing. She's over there trying to catch a pony. All right, let me get down and I, I like her. These brains are cool. So she she pins her ears when you put her saddle on. Like as soon as the lady lifted the saddle onto her, cool she pinned her ears. Mm -hmm. Too much. Or no, maybe she's a little bit girthy. Like I don't know. We we will spend a lot of time to work on that and figure it out. That's why none of our horses are like that because we spend a lot of time. We won't. Even though I know the lady is amazing with her horse, but like 
winter. That's all we'll have time to do. So she's the right size. Like even in the even in the camera, she's not as big as she looks. Like she's such a nice height. How did I look on her? Okay, so I got the got the jitters now, you guys. Like like I rode her. Like this is the first horse trial that I've ever like actually rode and just like I don't know, pee in the grass. Go pee in the trailer. Don't make it where they can see it. <laughs> He likes her so how did I look on her Good. like that's the thing I didn't get to see is like she's not super affectionate but she's not pinning her ears she only pinned her ears when she put the saddle up she loves the bit she fits easily I think she likes kids I'm not gonna lie like I think she she really likes kids I felt amazing I don't know what I look like but she's big you guys like she's not a tiny horse Gabby's getting her English saddle that's what she wants to ride in so Gabby's going on a trail are you sad you don't get to come I'm cold. Oh, I'm warm. I have two coats in the car. So when we're on the trail, why don't you go? Uh, I have my boots in the car. Go get my boots and get my coat. They go upstairs. She goes upstairs. Come on. <laughs> she goes upstairs. <gasps> What kind is the, what breed is the pony that Gabby's riding? She's a Rocky Mountain. Did you wear gloves? No, because gloves were too slippery. All right, so like lots of stuff going on when you buy a horse or when you try a horse. Like, kind of think about this for like a long time. Like, I don't know if I should go home and take her for hours. Gabby, Gabby doesn't like her. Sophie loves her. All back. I'm gonna go in front. No, you're not. Oh, I would. Nope. Gabby's jealous. She doesn't want a horse. My thing. It's Gabby's thing to go in front, then just go faster than her. I don't know, you guys, tell me what you think in the comments below. Like, so, like, I loved her. I loved her, and so we're taking a few minutes to decide as a family. Let's take a vote. Let's take a vote. I say get her. No. Why don't you want me to get her? Did you hear dad's vote? Yeah, we need to hear dad's vote. It's two, oh, two you to know one what right now. Was? What? So me and Dad were talking before and I said, I think you're going to say, I like her, but I don't know. And Dad said, well, she can actually ride this one and she's not scared to ride it. What? It was a bit scary on her trail ride. Like, she likes to be at the front. The lady made me keep her at the back for part of it when we were in the front. Oh, I was loving life. And when she made me keep her at the back, I was holding her back and holding her back, half halting, and she was like, I'm not doing that. Like. There's some learning to, to do. She, I cantered, but it's exactly the same as when I ride the Pasofino. It's like exactly the same. She's bigger, she fits me. I don't know how I looked on her because I didn't get to see. Did you guys think that I looked okay on her size wise? It's the first horse I've ever ridden. First horse I've ever ridden that I didn't feel like, well actually, I think it's the saddle. I don't like an English saddle where I can feel the horse's back completely. I. I liked the saddle. I liked, I loved, I loved riding her, you guys. I loved it. I know there's a lot of work to do. She's really safe. She's really safe. Just by 
just by being like a Pasofino, she's really safe. Or just by being a gated horse, it makes her more safe. But I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to let you guys know what I decided in tomorrow's video. I'll see you guys later. And thank you so much for coming along on this journey to try a horse with me. It's the second time I've ever tried a horse for me. Like, I don't know if saying if you can ride it, you can buy it is good enough. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, maybe it needs to be more than just if I can ride it. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't you know that you're beautiful?